welcome to today's video. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my beauty room, finally. I feel like I have been talking about this video forever. <laughs> and so I'm finally, I finally have the room in a state that I feel like I can give you guys a tour and show you kind of where all the magic happens. So let's go back and check it out. So just to give you guys some reference of where we're at in my home, when you come up the stairs right here, you walk down this hallway, and this is the first bedroom that you come to. The girls' rooms are to the right of us uh, in our guest room. So this used to actually be Brooklyn's room, and she and Kate decided they wanted to sleep in the same room and share a room, and so Mama took over <laughs> her old bedroom. So when you first walk in, you have this little wall here, and I have this little picture that I got from Home Goods. It uh, says Glam Office. I'm still searching for some other um, artwork and frames to put on the walls but I figured if I waited until I had that done this video might never be filmed so when you walk in there's just like this little kind of hallway I mean small little transitional space really is what it is and then uh, we'll start with this side of the wall so this um, on this side of the wall I have this little chair from home goods that I purchased um, just for some decor really this doesn't really get used um, I thought maybe it could work Work as another area to film but not really working out that way and then we have a full-length mirror in here now the reason I got this mirror in here is because I had I kind of liked the idea of doing like you know outfit photos here in the mirror um, but as you can see there's a lot of busyness and a lot of mess back here so that really doesn't happen too much but it does kind of take up some nice space on this wall and just add a little bit of decor to the room when you come to the left now this is where um, this is the newest piece to my beauty room this is my vanity and my mirror setup I've showed a little bit of this on stories and I know that I showed it in a video recently when I filmed a tutorial here but I actually want to show you kind of um, how I have things organized here. This really is where I house most of my makeup. Uh, believe it or not, most of the makeup that I have fits in here. Um, I do have other drawers that I'll show you guys, uh, drawer units, but they're empty. So um, I know sometimes you see these beauty room tours and they just have like drawers and drawers and drawers filled with makeup. Um, yeah, I don't really. I got rid of a lot of makeup and um, this, is, this is kind of what I have for now. So uh, I will show you, we'll just kind of pan over and I'll kind of talk real quickly about what you see. So yes, I am drinking a soda, but it's a Zevia soda. So I think they're a little bit better for you. Okay. So this is my travel makeup case. I got this from Target and I love it. Um, I just emptied and cleaned it out from our trip to New York and I'm going to be packing it up for a little quick trip that I have to Miami next week. I got this little decorative piece from Home Goods like years and years and years ago. This has been in the background of my videos for a very long time. I have all my makeup brushes here. I have a few palettes here, salt New York palettes that I have eyeshadow pans in, cream products in. I have um, my palette by Ricky Ricky uh, Loves Ricky. It has pretty much um, kind of some of my favorite neutral shades in there. Then um, over here is my Ricky Ricky Tall Mirror. And uh, the products that I have here are kind of my, my the products that I'm grabbing for the most lately. And when I say lately, I literally mean over the last few days. This changes up quite a bit. So these are here as of most recently. I've got my La Mer Foundation, my Magic Foundation, a new concealer by number seven that I've been testing, my Flawless Filter, some Natasha, Natasha Denona and a Charlotte Tilbury palette my La Mer powder, this blush by Charlotte Tilbury, which I am so obsessed with. And I really hate when I say that word obsessed, but it's so true. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, a new Tom Ford palette that I picked up. These two Marc Jacob palettes, uh, these are old. I've had these for a long time and I found them in my stash when I was organizing and I just decided to pull them out so I could um, play with them some more. And then over here, I have this little caddy of just random things. I have some of my most worn lip products. Um, and then I have just some primers and other kind of lighter foundations that I might wear here I have my lipstick caddy and this is by Zara Beauty and I love it isn't it so cute I bought this a long time ago and I just love it I still need to fill it up with more lipsticks but these um I, I recently went through all my lipsticks and I had so many lipsticks that were just like years old that I tossed so these are kind of all of my you know my my lipsticks that are safe to use and then this is a prescription box by Camera Ready Cosmetics. I just filmed a video on this. I'm not sure if this video will be up before or after this, but it's a subscription box that comes out, I believe it's seasonally. 
you get like $275 for the product for $75. Um, and I just unboxed it, that's why that's there. And then on this side, so this set is from Ikea. I think it's called the Linden. I will look it up and I will have it linked down below, but it's all from Ikea. I think it was around $225 and it comes with everything. It comes with both drawer units and the tabletop. Um, so in this drawer unit, I have my um, concealers, my sponges, my primers. In this drawer unit, I have foundations. In this drawer unit, I have baby wipes for makeup removing purposes and all my powders and bronzers right here. And then in this drawer, I have a little more bronzers, blush, highlight powders. And the bottom drawer um, is like some lip products that I have. Just not, not much. I really don't have much lip products there. And then on this side of the drawer is my mascara, my brows, my eye primers, everything I have in here. And then, then we start with palettes. So in this drawer, I have a lot of my smaller palettes, a lot of my Natasha and Nona palettes, kind of small to medium sized palettes go in here. This drawer is a little bit deeper. So then I have my palettes stacked like this. I have all my Too Faced palettes, my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, um, just some other palettes, limited edition palettes. I absolutely love this palette, but this is old and no longer available. Um, and then in this drawer unit, I just have really nothing. <laughs> and then that one is also empty. So believe it or not, that is the bulk of my makeup. Of course I have makeup in other places in the house, but that's where most of the makeup that I use is. Um, we'll walk over here to this wall. So I have my YouTube 100K plaque that I was so, so excited and proud to receive, as well as a letter from the CEO of um, YouTube. When I received that plaque, you got like, you know, a letter from her. And then this set is from Ikea. Uh, it's one of the Alex drawer sets. And this is empty. I did, I used to have makeup in here, but I moved it all from here over to my vanity when I got that in. And then you come over here. So this is my light setup. I'll just kind of step back and show you how I have my lighting situated. So basically I film there. I have this monitor that I can see myself when I'm filming. I've got my camera right here and I've got this light on. Then I also have this light kind of pulled back so it lights up the whole room. I've got that light which lights up the backdrop basically so there's not a whole lot of shadows and darkness in the background. And then I also have this light which kind of fills in light in the rest of the room. So I no longer have a lot of lights directly on my face. I really have them kind of pulled back so they really light up the whole room. I don't know if you can tell, but the lighting in this room is really challenging. The only window we have is that window. And the paint colors, it's just not a really um, ideal room for lighting. So I really have to bring that light in to fill that up. Then we come over to this side and I have, so I have this little, uh, work hard, stay humble, be kind. I feel like those are really great words to live your life by. Um, then I have some more brushes here. I've got some MAC pigments. Those are so old. I don't even use those. I don't know why I can't just throw them out, but for some reason I still hold on to them. And then I've got this Ikea set here where I have a lot of my brushes. So I have um, just these little inserts that I got from Target. And I've got like all my eye brushes, um, a few face brushes in here. And then we have this drawer here, which I can't really open because the light is in the way, but here, I'll move it over. Um, but this is all my bigger face brushes right here. The day that I cleaned all of these and put them in here, I gotta tell you, it was so, so rewarding. Okay, and then everything else is empty. So this is kind of where I store brushes, but honestly, since launching BK Beauty, I really only use my BK Beauty brushes. I really, really do. Um, so I haven't really pulled from there in quite a while. Uh, let's do the rest of the room and then I'll show you guys the bathroom. So this little uh, shelving unit here I got from Ikea a long time ago. This has been in my background for quite some time. I used to film in another room of the house and this was my background and I just moved it in here. I've got that little sign from no other place but Home Goods. I've got this picture of Paul and I from a few years back. Just some kind of decorative little things that I got from Home Goods. I've got a couple of books here stacked, a few Kevin Aquan books, Bobby Brown, Michelle Fawn. Another photo of Paul and I. In this drawer here, I have all of my like equipment. So I'll have kind of my camera, extra lens, all my little plugs, camera boxes, 
Um, other things like those little clips help me with my backdrop if I ever use that. Um, and then this drawer has just makeup bags, nothing special in there. And then down here, I just have some more kind of little decorative things from Home Goods. That is an old school Mac case. Do you guys remember that? That is so old, you cannot even get that anymore. They don't sell those. Those were, I had like three of them and then I gifted two and I refused to part with that one. <laughs> Then this little corner should look familiar. This chair is from Home Goods, a uh, little pillow from Home Goods. Everything is from Home Goods, you guys. And then we kind of pan over here to this little kind of um, little knack of the room. Um, I do have two backdrop rolls up here. So if you notice, I've got this backdrop holder. It actually holds three rolls. So I have a white one, and then I have this color here that I haven't used yet. It's called, I think it's called Bone or something. Um, but I got this off Amazon. So it's really neat because you can just use these, um, these little pulleys here to pull them down and pull them up. So I love it. I used to have back, I used to have backdrops on stands and it was such a nightmare because the stands were not really like they'd fall over. They took up a lot of space in the room. So I finally decided, you know what? This is a, my YouTube thing is kind of something <laughs> that I'm going to continue to do. So I might as well put mount some, uh, you know, holders on the wall. So we did that. And then over here, I've got this little desk, which also is from Ikea. The uh, knobs are from Home Goods, so, the, so I just found the knobs and added them to the desk. And here I just have some files. Sometimes I'll keep um, different, you know, things in there for work. Uh, and then just some random stuff. There's our backyard. <laughs> and then let's get over here to where I actually film. So I just moved the chair from here to the vanity, depending on where I need it, rather than have two chairs. That's what I have set up for now. So this is where I sit and fil film. Now, um, these drawers are pretty much empty. Here I have some PR that was sent, brushes. Again, there's my monitor. My microphone is right here above my head. So when I film, I position it to be, you know, pretty, pretty much right above my head. It's interesting. You don't see it in the frame, of course, but it's right there. Um, now when I set this room up, I liked the idea of being able to shift the desk in the camera to either have just this as my backdrop or to have you know, kind of this is my backdrop, which is what it currently is right now. Or I could shift it to where this could be my backdrop if I wanted, or I could put the camera right here and have this back space be my backdrop. And of course I could decorate that corner a little bit, but that was the idea of this room. I wanted to create different spaces that allowed me to film with different backgrounds, kind of mix it up. I don't know about you guys, but do you get like bored of the same background in videos? I don't personally get bored of other people's backgrounds, but for some reason I get bored of filming myself in the same background. So if you want me to mix it up, if you want me to mix up backgrounds, let me know and I'm happy to do that. I think it'd be fun. So then we walk over here to the bathroom. This is the, my favorite bathroom upstairs. So we have three bedrooms upstairs and each bedroom has a bathroom um, in the bedroom. And this is my favorite because there's tons of shelf space in here. I love the color of the cabinets. They're kind of like this gray wash. Um, I love the tile on the floor, just real simple, but having this pattern in here kind of adds a little bit of interest to it. This obviously is a great bathroom for me because I can store, you know, PR and products, things like that, boxes from different products. This is just kind of where I store things. Um, I like having a sink in here because I can wash all of my brushes. I have a shower in here, but I never use it. <laughs> but yeah, this used to be um, Brooklyn's little room. And I like, I like it because I feel like it's pretty feminine, um, but not too feminine, you know? And yeah, that is the beauty room right here. So I'm really, really happy with this space. It has come a very long way when I first started filming videos. Um, let me turn you guys around real quick and stand in front of this window, get some good light here. When I first started filming videos, gosh, five and a half years ago, I kid you not, I had like the cheapest tripod, the cheapest camera, and I propped it on uh, my daughter's crib and her uh, mat crib mattress because I was pregnant with her. She wasn't born yet. And that was the only spare room, quiet room in the house that I had. It was at a different house that we lived in. And I remember just putting the tripod 
on the crib mattress and propping it up. I had no lights. The lighting in my videos was terrible, but I didn't know any better, of course. And I don't think if I would have, like, back then, if I would have thought that one day I'd have, like, my own room with, you know, all this equipment, I, I, I couldn't have imagined it. But it just slowly kind of um, evolved into that, you know. I would invest in a little here and a little bit there, and I'm really, really happy with the whole room now. So let me know about the backdrops. If you guys want me to mix it up, um, let me know. I'm happy to do that. I actually think that that would be a lot of fun. If you don't, if you like the way that it is, you don't want me to mess with it, let me know that too. I'm really curious, what do you guys think about the when I have just like a solid paper backdrop? Do you guys find that uninteresting or boring, or do you like that mixed in? I kind of like it mixed in, but let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I don't know what I have the opportunity to link down below. I'll link the Ikea pieces that I have down below, but I think everything else is pretty much home goods, which you can't really link to that. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.